Hi there, in this session we enter a calculation area and uh, calculate a grid noise map. So continue, uh, go back into, so here's our objective, so here we go into the editor and we select the object type calculation area and we enter uh, at, least, at a minimum three points, um, in this case I'll put in four points, uh, put a rectangular mode in here Uh, double click at the third point and then it basically squares the rectangle. Uh, I can save this and we go into the calculation, uh, go to the grid noise map and uh, maybe check the calculation settings here one more time. So height above ground is 1.5. Uh, if we uh, calculate the limit lines uh, we can put it in a different height. Uh, so let me delete the results and there were some calculated earlier. And we start the calculation. So first it showed the ground model and here it showed the uh, prediction. So at this point we can uh, again uh, go into the graphic plot and in the graphic plot we have now a grid noise map, daytime and nighttime. So here we can go and show the, the contours uh, for the nighttime and daytime. And as you can guys see uh, the contours are actually color coded. So we have a little scale right here from 47 to 61. We can uh, click on that and change the uh, skill range and let's say we do it in uh, 40 and 2.5 dB increments. Um, and then um, click OK. Actually let's do that for the day and night time and 40 and 2.5 uh, so they are both the same. And uh, so here we have these contours. Now it shows actually contours inside the building, although these points are actually not calculated. Uh, in this case, uh, you may want to turn on the color coding or the shading of the buildings. So you can go back to the objects uh, and the main buildings and we turn on the fill, fill color for all the buildings and maybe turn off the hatch. All right. Very good. So this is our contour map. Um, at this point, we can continue uh, developing the project in more detail. Uh, this is like a free field propagation. And of course, uh, we have uh, surrounding buildings. We have also a perimeter wall on the uh, east side of the uh, facility. And uh, so those are the next steps of uh, inputting and developing the model, adding additional buildings and uh, additional receiver at the building, and then also putting in the uh, perimeter one.